सो हाई एवरी वन सो आई वेलकम यू टू दिस डिस्कशन ऑन दी एफ एम जी पैटर्न रेडियोलॉजी क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई नीड यू टू रिमेंबर फॉर योर एफ एम जी एग्जाम नेवर लीव एनी सब्जेक्ट एट लीस्ट डू दी डी एफ एक्स ऑफ एवरी सब्जेक्ट एट लीस्ट यू शुड हैव सम आइडिया ऑफ एवरी सब्जेक्ट आई गिव एन एग्जाम्पल नो यू टेल मी इन दी चैट बॉक्स इज रेडियोलॉजी यू नो अ स्मॉल सब्जेक्ट और अ बिग सब्जेक्ट you will say it's a short subject but i am telling you you get 10 questions out of radiology in your fmg exam which is going to be a game changer in your passing i will give you some questions these are mainly based on the previous year questions asked in fmg exam and the style and frame of the fmg exam in the fmg exam one of the questions they always ask is identify the structure so i want you to look at this image this is a t2 weighted mri image and i want you to look at the image with me and i'll mark it for you this particular area that you see here is your cerebellum and this particular area that you see here where the arrow is look at the shape of the structure it has a shape like this and the shape reminds you of the shape of the medulla oblongata you can see the skull base we are at the lower part of the skull you can see the lower part of the cerebellum and you can see the medulla oblongata the answer is medulla and some of you might be thinking sir ye to mushkil hai aasan hai asli exam mein aaya hua question hai theek hai so keep it in mind this is the kind of question they ask in fmg exam they like asking questions which are based on identifying the anatomy so that the radiology and anatomy can be asked in one particular question in your fmg exam okay now second question again a very important question which investigation are we talking about we are talking about mammography which x rays do we do in mammography in mammography we do cranio caudal medio lateral oblique view the question is saying which of them has most breast tissue so which x rays we do we do cc mlo out of them the most breast tissue is in the medio lateral oblique view and also remember we do mammography in all females more than 40 years of age annually to do screening for to do screening for anyone ductal carcinoma in c2 we need to do screening for ductal carcinoma in c2 which will show micro calcification potential question micro calcification on mammogram okay beta next question linac is used for last year's fmg question linac is used for a kind of radiotherapy called as teletherapy mainly produces x rays can also produce electrons linac is also called as linear accelerator it is a teletherapy machine which is mainly doing the radiotherapy with x rays but can also produce high velocity electrons which can be used for superficial malignancies like skin cancers for their treatment so answer is electrons and x rays if you got it right give me a thumbs up okay another question based on the fmg pattern which part of the bowel is dilated can you see this dilated bowel yes so you can see this dilated bowel loop has complete folds these complete folds are called as volvule conventus if you see complete folds called as volvule conventus it must be small bowel which part of small bowel jejunum why not ileum ileum will be featureless why not colon colon will have hostre incomplete folds it will have hostration okay beta okay which of them is the correct temporal sequence of radiation exposure to blood most radio sensitive blood cells are lymphocytes then neutrophil then platelet then rbc the answer is a in your fmg exam they like to ask some questions on three topics remember one question i have given here of radiotherapy linac radio sensitivity radiation protection they like asking these three topic note it down radiation protection radiotherapy and remember radio sensitivity you can directly follow the dfx or my class notes they will be enough almost everything that have you have taught in the class will be same as they will ask you in the exam okay it's very important because i have al already covered the most important topics for you in the class and dfx itself for the fmg exam also see this particular barium enema in this barium enema in this sigmoid colon you can see a very important appearance can you think of the appearance this is called as the saw tooth appearance in the sigmoid colon saw tooth appearance in the sigmoid colon tell me tell me tell me seen in 
diverticulosis. What kind of appearance will you see in ulcerative colitis? Ulcerative colitis, the entire colon will become fibrosed, ahostral like a lead pipe. So, ulcerative colitis, the question will say lead pipe colon. Remember, lead pipe colon seen in ulcerative colitis, sawtooth appearance seen in diverticulosis. Which of the following is anechoic? Any structure which is full of water will be anechoic on ultrasound because, tell me, because water allows the sound to transmit, does not reflect. Cystic lesions are anechoic. They also show distal acoustic, tell me, enhancement. Hence, always remember, very important question, solid versus cystic, which investigation to be done? You need to mark the answer as ultrasound. Solid versus cystic, always mark ultrasound. This patient has abdominal pain. They are showing you an IVP. And this is a favorite question of FMG exam. On IVP, you can see in the distal part of ureter, can you see the adder head appearance? Adder head appearance in the distal ureter, what do you think? Should be seen in congenital dilatation of the distal ureter called as Uretrocele, adder head appearance, uretrocele, very important question. Okay, and also in a kidney, they might also ask you putti kidney when one kidney will be calcified and contracted. Think of tubercular kidney. Mark my words, one of them is always asked in the exam. Common sense question, they like asking common sense questions in the FMG exam. Seven week pregnant lady underwent a chest x ray. What will you advise her? The chest x ray has very minuscule radiation. So, you are hardly bothered about the radiation that you get in a chest x-ray. You will just tell her to reassure and continue pregnancy. Only answer will be reassurance. A possible question for FMG exam because it is based on common sense. Okay. Another common sense question. Any lady who comes to you for a CT scan, always, do a, always do ask for LMP. Because if you ask for LMP, then you get to know if the lady is overdue or not. Okay. And the final question, the most important question in FMG exam, HIV, HIV positive patient, ground glass opacities in the lung, ground glass opacity, some pneumatocele, some pneumatocele. So, what can happen to the lungs or any patient in HIV? You will have opportunistic infections. So, what kind of opportunistic infection in HIV will lead to ground glass opacity and pneumatocele? The answer will be pneumocystis gerovesi pneumonia. Drug of choice, go trimexazole. Very important potential question for your FMG exam. So, I hope you enjoyed the CBT experience and the simulation that we gave you to the real exam. I wish you all the best for the final FMG exam and I am sure you will do it. Apna time apun khud laega. Main puri puri umeed rakhta hoon ki aap sab 200 se zada marks laoge. Is baar best result. हिंदुस्तान की हिस्ट्री में हम डैम्स एफएमजी ग्रुप से लेके आएंगे आई विश यू ऑल द बेस्ट मैं इस बार पूरा प्रॉमिस करता हूं कि हमने जो आपको पढ़ाया है वो बहुत बेहतरीन वी हैव नॉट कॉम्प्रोमाइज ऑन एनीथिंग और मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है आप बेस्ट रिजल्ट लेके आओगे मेक योर टीचर प्राउड